All right. <clears throat> Some. What is the time? Is it right now? It's my watch here. It is one fifty-seven on Monday. <laughs> it is late. Um, it's my brain. I just got back from the movies. I just got back from watching uh, Blue Beetle. Excellent movie. I'll talk about it hopefully on the show this week. But a uh, little update on the on the cab here. Um, after all the all the debacle with the um, with these screens, I think I'm going to keep this one in here. I think it uh, even at the low resolution that it runs at, um, I think it'll do the job. It's not my favorite. I really wish it was brighter and IPS. I really wish it was just it's a better quality screen, higher resolution. I uh, wish I had more color control. I'll eventually kind of tweak the colors a little better. Um, but in the meantime, let me show you kind of a, an update and some 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 things that I've done. So uh, one of the things that I did over the week is I added a fourth button. And this was this was a tough one for me because when I first built this cab, I was you know I was going for oh, I'm going to restore it I'm going to restore it. But then I realized that all these people had restored TMNT cabs, and um, that that's that's fine and 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 but I don't have an original TMNT board anymore um and uh, I want to also play more than the turtles on here right so uh, I wanted to have a third button for things like X-Men for things like Bucky O'Hare uh and and also some other uh games kind of like uh, uh Demon Front for example is a three is a three button game uh so I really wanted to have a third button uh, then I ran into a problem with things like NBA Jam that need a start button as well. So that's when I added a start button. But then they also needed individual coin buttons. So that led me down the rabbit hole of adding a coin and a, and a start. I added the coin as a black button so it kind of masks kind of at an angle here. And then I added, you know, I got my start button here. And that's cool. The next thing I did was... I wanted to play a few other games, and I found the PGM games. Uh, PGM is, uh, if you're not familiar, it is a, uh, uh, I would call it kind of like the spiritual successor to the Neo Geo. It is a cart-based system. There's a lot of cave shooters on there, but there's also some really cool uh, four-player brawlers. And those games require a fourth button. At the same time, uh, Shredder's Revenge. One of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to play Shredder's Revenge on here. And uh, Shredder's Revenge needs a fourth button. You have attack, jump, uh, roll, or dodge, and you need the fourth button here to be um, special attack. And you, you, you can't map it to two buttons or, or whatever because two buttons of every combination of the, of the other three already do things, like jump and attack, uh, uh, you hold these two, you spin. I mean, just the combination of these two and these two and these two were already taken. So there was no way for me to do special attack. So basically, if this was an Xbox or a PlayStation controller, this would be A, B, X, Y, right? Or NES or Super Nintendo would be B, A, Y, X. Okay. So that was also kind of a thing because um, you're, you're, you're mapping it when you're playing this way, right? You're kind of playing and watching the screen over here. So you, you're you got to make sure that this is jump. Like jump is up this way. You know, it's that's jump. So you've got to kind of orient your buttons how it makes sense. Same thing here. This one makes more sense because it's right straight on. Same thing. This one, this one's a little cornered, but it's straight on. And then this one, again, weird because this is jump. Jump is that way, not this way. It's this way. So you're hitting up, but then you're also using these. So you, you kind of have to play kind of above. But you get used to it when you're playing over here. You know that you're going to jump. You're, 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 you're looking up and you're, you're jumping. You're hitting jump. Left, right, whatever. So that makes sense. So fourth button was added. Um, I, I really held off on it for a long time. I really didn't want to drill another hole in this control panel. But I think four buttons is good for everything outside of fighters. I didn't want to make a main monstrosity. I didn't want to have six buttons and eight buttons and a, a, a trackball and a spinner and all of that. I wanted this to be a four-player cab 
with the ability to play some two-player, three-player games, and some of those games required the fourth button. So that is why I went this route. So that's that that was one of the things here. I, I didn't this is not a if I want to play other games, I've got my Astro over there on my CRT, and I can play six player player games and, and or six six button games and, and fighters and whatever else. This isn't a fighting cab. This is a, a kind of a platformer slash multiplayer aspect game. Uh, this also lets me, if I really want to, I could put a couple of the Naomi uh, games on here. So I can maybe put um, I can put Power Stone, uh, Power Stone Two on here, and that would work because I've got four play four buttons, which is required for Naomi. So that's something that I'm going to do. Uh, I'll play around with that option, but I added one more thing, and this is kind of I haven't noticed I haven't panned upwards here. Uh, this this cab, um, like I said, at first I have. I have a TMNT marquee. Um, I have it lit up. I had it lit up in some of the videos, and um, it, it, it works. But I wanted to do something special. Since I already had done four buttons, I was like, you know, everyone does restores. And I'm in the middle of restoring this. I'm painting this black soon. I'm, I'm wiring up the lights on my keys, on my, on my uh, coin returns. Um, I'm going to put the art for this soon. I have it rolled up, ready to go. So that'll go on there, and that'll that'll be kind of the culmination. At the same time, one of the big things was the speakers, right? Um, original TMNT cabs have only one speaker. Uh, Simpsons and Turtle in Time added the second speaker. So uh, what I did is I left this opening, and I went ahead and drilled a three-inch hole for three-inch speakers here, added some nice 8 ohms speakers, and that is going to be powered by a nice uh, 2.1 amp to give me some some good bump i might add a subwoofer down there not sure yet we'll we'll uh we'll see how i feel i wanted this to be kind of entertaining you know a, a big entertainment piece in my office with that said here's what i wanted to add there's one more thing i wanted to add and as i was looking you've seen a lot of people do this on mame cabs and uh they sell lcds for the marquee and those Marquee LCDs are expensive. They're overly priced for the size. I think a 24-inch diagonal um, is like 200 and change. Uh, if you order from AliExpress, I think you can get it for like 180 or whatever, um, and and you know a month and a half shipping or whatever the case may be. And also the, the risk of get, sending an LCD overseas like that if it breaks, you know you're you can't exactly return it fairly easy. So I got to measuring and I wanted to see what's the maximum size LCD I can fit up here. Uh, and I measured, and the measurement between here and here is 27 inches, exactly, give or take. And with that in mind, I started looking at monitors that would fit that. And sure enough, a 21 by 9, 29 inch monitor, not curved, fits perfectly. So what did I do? I picked one up and yes, it is taller here. I'm still in the middle of, of editing this. I might, I might do something with this space, add some animation, maybe some uh, marquee lights, uh, maybe uh, uh, some sort of like, uh, maybe some sort of like uh, rolling uh, dot matrix looking thing. Maybe some animations, some, you know, new game, arcade, whatever, but I didn't want to stretch this all the way. I wanted this to stay within the boundaries of what the marquee would have been. And there it is. You can see here that now this place, and I've got, what's really cool is the coin ops has not just regular really high quality images, but they also have animated. So some, so a lot of them are kind of, they bounce, they move, and they've got some small animations in the background. And so this also has some console games and they've got some fantasy console, uh, um, some console uh, marquees, which are really cool. Uh, the coin ops team really does a really good job with these. I think these are really cool. How neat is that? And notice I don't have the speakers hooked up yet because of course I showed you the amp. But uh, yeah, that, that is, those are really cool looking. 
I am not very good with editing coin ops. I had to edit this already to kind of make sure that it set this size with the correct access ratio. And instead of it being up here, it moved down here. So I had to play around with uh, editing the XML. I'm still not done fitting this properly. It is just a temporary little bracket that I put on here, kind of held in and it's pressure fit. fit. The only modification I had to do with the Konami cab was I had to, if you look here, the three quarter inch, I had to shave it about a just a tiny bit you can see I basically chiseled the right side and the left side, but I didn't hurt the channel, which means that I can drop a um, T-molding on there and it still fits perfectly. You can see here, the T-molding goes right on the edge of the monitor, as you can see. Right there, you can see how it fits perfectly there. So I didn't lose any integrity of the T-molding. I just kind of shaved the inside of the wood to be able to fit that... Um, fit that uh, monitor in just right. And that makes it look so sweet. Once we start get some, once we get music and the bezel built, I'm not done with the bezel. I've got the glass, the glass is right there now. Um, this is gonna be a really cool four player cab. And um, again, these are consoles, but look, if I go to, so let's go to here, let's go to, um, it's by year right now. Let's, uh, you can see elevator action. Now let's, um, what type is this set to? These are all arcades, I think, but they're by player, by players. How about that? Um, and we'll do some four player here. And as you can see, there's Battle Circuit, Bomberman. I mean, look how cool that marquee looks. Look what they did with the art. See the clouds moving in the background there? So sweet. Look at that Bucky O'Hare. That is so awesome. So of course, when you go into the game, it, it keeps it, right? If I leave it there, it'll eventually keep like Captain America. How cool that the clouds in the background moving. So they, they added a parallax. The team at CoinOps does an amazing job with these art with this artwork. Look at that. demon front I die hard how freaking cool is that go on Pachi and of course that's a vertical so I mean yeah that's a whole thing I mean if I wanted to turn it I could I guess um, look at the dungeon look at these Capcom ones Dungeon Dragons Towers Tower of Doom what a great piece of art. Look how, look how sharp that looks. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> oh man, it's just like they just really did a great job with this, with this, um, with this artwork here. I just, I'm just blown away. Cowboys of Mesa. Look at that. Look at Spider-Man. Look at that Spider-Man with the, with the moving spider there. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> the hearts. Uh, it's really cool. And you can see that some of them that they didn't do any parallax, I guess they added some smoke effects in the background and it just kind of just moves slightly. I bust a move one, man. That's really cool. And of course you can turn off the animation, just have them on on their own. Oh, look at that one. How freaking cool is that? Oh, I freaking love this game. Ninja Baseball, Batman. What a fun. Look at the artwork on that one. Look at the, the sprite work on that one. It's Irem. Just a really cool game. Look at the Blitz. 
How freaking cool is that? Those are just really cool animated marquees. And um, yeah, I just think this is a, this, I mean, again, I'm, I like, I'm a purist in a, in a way, but I also like little slight modifications. And uh, this is a real cab. This is a real Konami cab. These are real, you know, IL uh, uh, sticks. I didn't go with uh, uh, Wico, Wico. I can never say that because uh, those are expensive. They're like $40 a stick nowadays with the leaf springs. I'm trying to see if I can maybe replace them with something else. But for now that works. Um, these are real. I changed these to nice zippy switches. So they're nice and nice and light. They don't hurt. Um, the switches are nice and light. They, they good spring on them. Uh, so they don't cause fatigue. But uh, being able to being able to have these uh, marquees like this really gives it a um, a serious new look. Look at that NBA Jam one. Some good artwork. Knights of Valor. See, that's a good one right there. Um, hook. Gunlock. Oh, this one right here. So this is a good one. See, and this is, again, this is a four-player one. And uh, uh, four-player and, and, again, three buttons. But the Gladiator, this is an I, this is a, a PGM one from IGS. And uh, uh, this is a four-button one. Gauntlet Legends. I don't remember how many buttons this, this was. Uh, Gauntlet 2. G.I. Joe. The G.I. Joe one. What a cool-looking marquee, man. Just really cool. And then, of course, if you go to, um, I mean, there's lots of lots of different you know things in here. This I think this is all set by arcades and and sorting. But yeah, this is that's uh, seven twenty. Sort by letter. So again, what this cab is? It's a TMNT cab, right? So if I wanted to. You know, I can set this to always like start up at TMNT. So there we go. So once this artwork is set, right? So like there's turtles in time. But like, honestly, you, once this is done, I mean, that's lit up. And it's nice and clean. Or let's play some Turtles in Time. Look at that. And Tekken is a four-player one, so if I really wanted to play Tekken on here, I could. Tekken Tag as well. I don't have any shooters on here, but, I mean, it is nice to have. Ah, so cool. If I go, see, I, now again, I, I don't I don't have six buttons on here, but I mean, if I wanted to, I just want to see what it looks like with some of these, uh, those vampire savior. go to let's see what the street fighters look like just because i want to see what those look like on this on this marquee the samurai showed him that's a cool one
Oh, those are so cool looking. Oh, look at that Shattered Answer one. That's one of my favorites. Shinobi. Shock Troopers. Oh, look at the Simpsons one. With the clouds moving. That's cool. I mean, if they could have been animated clouds like the Simpson clouds, it would have been cool, but that's not bad. That Smash TV one. That looks so cool. Nice and bright. Oh, look at that one. That's, you know, man, like, makes me want to build, you know, put another marquee like this in another cab just to have this on, because one of my favorites. Soul Calibur one. That's Spider Man. That's Splatterhouse one. That's a cool one. And again, all these games wouldn't be played on here. I would probably limit the games I'm going to have played on this cab, but look at that Street Fighter, the original Street Fighter one. Oh, look at that. Street Fighter 2 one. That's cool looking. Alpha. Alpha 2. Alpha 3. Mix. And so that's a, that's a hacked ROM with Street Fighter 3. Second impact. There's a third strike. There we go. That's a cool one. Oh, gotta have, gotta have uh, the movie. EX2. Strider, it just goes on and on. I just, just really cool, these animated ones. Look at that, look at that uh, Sunset Rider one. That one doesn't have too much animation because it's got a live action in the background. I think maybe could have made the clouds move, but they didn't, but even then, it's still a bright, nice looking marquee. So again, yes, it's a TMNT uh, uh, cabinet bottom, but that marquee changed. And again, I want something up here eventually. But yeah, that that looks cool. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, I accidentally started uh, Super Dodgeball. So now it's it's, it's going to sit on Super Dodgeball. So and it plays the game on here. And this is a four-player MVS game. Once it loads up, um, it, uh, it's going to sit here. And that marquee is now kind of the only one. It's not going to revolve. But yeah, tell me guys what you guys think here. I know it's a long video of me just kind of rambling here. But uh, it's probably not going to start because, I, again, I haven't configured it properly. I'll kick out. But yeah, tell me what you think. Oh, no, there it goes. It's starting. Who knows what's going on here? I'll have to play around with that. All right. Everyone, take care. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, what else should I do? What would you do to make this classy and not over the top right like i'm, I'm trying to like I'm, I'm i'm kind of in a line there like i don't want to i'm not going for like gaudy i don't need a ton of stuff added to this but i'm, I'm wanting to make it look original different my own but at the same time still a tmnt cap um i do like tmnt i think it's, it was my favorite game growing up and i this is a tmnt cap at heart but uh, um yes it, the ratio is off here i gotta play around with that the ratio's off, but, um, yeah, no, this is, this is, uh, this is cool, um, and, uh, uh, I think, uh, this right here, this marquee, look at that, it's exactly right there on the size. If you exit out here, exit out the game, there you go, back out. I want to play some Super Gem Fighters, even though, I don't remember how many buttons that is, I think that's four, actually. Pac-Man, Buster Bros, Super Punch-Out, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo, there you go. That's a good one to play multiplayer there, too. You play these two. Maybe I'll set it so that these two are set for certain games. I haven't played around with configurations, but, um, yeah. Also, this is, this. I, I realize why this is doing this, because I have the monitor set to 
1280 by 960 or whatever wacky resolution and it's treating certain things as four by three within widescreen it's a mess this monitor is a mess it, um, the only reason i'm keeping it is because it is a 26 inch four by three um, but if i could find something better or if i could find a way to modify this cabinet and just shove a 40 inch lcd in 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 vertical or whatever um i would or I would go CRT and find a way to still get these to work with this, with a CRT. I don't know. Either way. Thanks so much, guys. Tell me what you think.